What is up guys? Now it has been five long years since I made the last iPhone blocking video, which you guys made a smashing success. But since then, Apple has slightly changed the way to filter your phone. So let's talk about how to do it now. Now first things first, before we get started, you must have an iCloud account with a password that you know. Now when you get an iPhone, Apple makes sure you either set up a new iCloud account or you attach that phone to an account you already have. So just make sure you have access to your account ID and your password. And you'll find out why in just a few minutes. So here's how to set your filter. Tap on that gear icon that's marked settings. Scroll down to the hourglass icon where it says screen time. Apple released screen time with iOS 12 and it's now where you're gonna find all the functionality to place any limits on your phone whatsoever. So go ahead and tap screen time. Now if you've never used screen time, you're gonna get an option to quote, turn on screen time. So go ahead and tap that. Now you're gonna get a screen confirming that you wanna use screen time, which seems really weird since we just said we wanna use screen time, but whatever. So go ahead and hit turn on screen time. Now you're gonna be asked if the phone is for you or for your child. Now really soon we're gonna make a video for parents, but this video is for people who struggle with porn addiction themselves and are looking to block porn on their own phones. So choose this is my iPhone. Now the screen time display will appear. At the top you'll see a bar graph that will show you how many hours and minutes you spend on your phone each day, which honestly can be a sobering revelation all by itself. But what we're really interested in is where it says content and privacy restrictions. So go ahead and tap that. Now flip the switch that says content and privacy restrictions. That will activate the menu and allow us to start setting our filter. So once the menu is active, tap down here on content restrictions. Now in this menu, we want to select web content. Now web content has three basic options. Currently it's unrestricted, which means you can browse just about anything you want. Now obviously if you're struggling with porn, that's not what you want. So select the next option, limit adult websites. So this is Apple's own filtering algorithm and honestly it does a pretty rocking job and will filter out 99% of the content you're trying to avoid. But just to be safe, it allows you to whitelist or blacklist websites. For instance, if you wanna view helpful sites that are being blocked for some reason, or if you need to block particular sites that aren't explicitly pornographic but might in fact host X-rated content. Or you can use this to block literally any site you want for any reason whatsoever. So for instance, I've whitelisted the Sex Addicts Anonymous website as well as yourbrainonporn.com, which is a fantastic resource on porn addiction. Now obviously these sites get blocked because they do have sex themed content even though they're not pornographic. And I've also whitelisted a couple news sites that will sometimes get blocked if there's a story involving sex, for instance. So since they're safe, I put them on a whitelist. But under Never Allow, I've blocked Reddit and Twitter. Those are two sites that are super popular and have honestly plenty of useful content, but they also have zero restrictions on explicit pornography. And quite frankly, there is a ridiculous amount of X-rated content on those sites. So for me, they're blocked. The third option for blocking content is allowed websites only, which means the phone will only be allowed to access the sites you manually enter into the list. Now personally, I think this is a crazy strict setting, but it's there if you want to use it. But for now, let's go back to limit adult websites. So now our filter is set and all we have to do is set a passcode to lock it in. Now there's different philosophies on how best to use a passcode and I'll leave it up to you guys to determine what's best for your own recovery. You can set the passcode yourself, but the obvious issue there is that you're gonna know the code and you can just remove the filter whenever you want. You can also let someone else choose a passcode for you. However, you should make sure that one, it's someone you're gonna see on a regular basis, and two, that they're unlikely to forget the code that they choose for you. So to set a passcode, just go to the main screen time menu and scroll down to where it says use screen time passcode. Now at this point, you'll be prompted to enter a four digit number. And honestly, sometimes I'll choose a completely random set of numbers just for the sake of setting my passcode because I know I'll most likely forget it in a few hours later. So in effect, I'm sort of locking myself out of my own filter. Now, don't worry, we can always turn off the passcode later. But for the sake of this video, let's use 1234 for our passcode. And it'll ask you to confirm that number and then it will ask you to enter your Apple ID for password recovery. But here's the thing, you don't actually have to do this. 
Your Apple ID will always be able to turn off the passcode if you or your accountability partner ever forget it. So when I get this particular screen, I just select cancel and it'll say, are you sure? And I just select skip. So the passcode is now set. And if you try and turn off content restrictions, you'll be asked to enter the code. Now, once your content and privacy restrictions are set, your phone is now filtering the internet at its root level. That means no matter which browser you use, or even if it's an internal browser from another app, porn content will effectively be blocked. Additionally, when your filter is activated, image searches are forced into their strict settings and image searches that include any graphic or sexual language will be blocked altogether. And that's a fantastic feature because for a long time, Image searches were a clever way to circumvent filters because they allowed a user to view porn content without actually having to go to a porn site. Another thing to know about having your filter activated is that it will prevent you from being able to delete or edit your browsing history. So notice that when I open my history in Safari, the clear option is grayed out. Your history is gonna keep an account of every site you visit and search you conduct, even if those sites or searches are blocked by your filter. So it's an added incentive to not try and get around it. Now, let's say you've forgotten your passcode and you need to change your settings or remove it for whatever reason. Here's how you do it. Go to the screen time menu and scroll down to change screen time passcode. Now you're gonna get two options, change passcode or turn off passcode. So select turn off. You'll be asked for the passcode and at the bottom, you'll see a question, forgot passcode? Remember how at the beginning of this video, we said you need your Apple ID? Well, this is why. So enter in your ID and password correctly, and then the passcode for your filter will be removed from your settings, and you can turn off your filter or make any adjustments. Now, remember, no filter is absolute, but setting a filter and using a passcode can be a super effective speed bump to help you stop and think before viewing porn. So instead of just drifting to porn on autopilot the way that so many addicts do, Filters and passcodes make you deliberately make a conscious choice to view porn because you'll have to remove these restrictions in order to do it. So if you're struggling, my hope is that this tool will help you at least slow down the process just enough to shift your mindset, choose another activity, reach out to a friend, go for a walk, read a book, anything you can choose except for viewing self-destructive, awful, harmful porn. Now, if this video has helped you, you can do me two huge favors. First, share it with one other person, just one, who you know would benefit from this information. And second, subscribe to this channel because I'm telling you guys, there are dozens of video ideas in the works, all with the goal of bringing you the most relevant, profound, and deep truths about recovery from porn and sex addiction. Now, if you guys have any questions you'd like to see addressed in future videos, I would love to hear from you in the comment section. God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.